Looking for a trip this summer that won't have you riding in the car for forever? <laughs> Those are my favorite kind of trips. Well, we've got two great options to help you get out of town. Midwest travel expert Marsha Frost is back. We're so glad that you're back. Good to see you. Thank you. It's good to be back. So where are we going to start this little road trip that's not going to have me sitting in a car? <laughs> Hannibal, Hannibal, Missouri is less than three hours from here. And it's all about Mark Twain. Yeah, that's, okay. what, that's what I hear. There's a little bit, if, if you're a Twain fan, if you're you got to go. If you're a Twain fan, you've got to go. It's a beautiful city, too. I mean, it's really a quaint little city. But if you're a Twain fan, absolutely head down, learn about Sam. Not going to lie, it feels to me like that's a fairly limited, like Mark Twain, there's only so much you can do, right? But no. there must be a lot. No, so tell me about lots. it. Tell me how wrong I am. Okay. Um, Mark Twain Boyhood Home and Museum is actually a whole conglomerate of properties. And you can walk around downtown through all of them. And you will find the Huck Finn House and the Beck Thatcher House. And you'll learn all about Mark Twain, the characters in the book, who all are those are wax based figures? On, there is a wax oh, museum, too, all okay. based on people he grew up with as Samuel mm -hmm. Clemens, the writer. And the museum gallery also has a big collection we saw of Norman Rockwell's. Norman Rockwell did a lot of paintings on Mark Twain and Huck Finn, which is really kind of cool. Um, great restaurants, cute little town, antique shops. Uh, Libina Bistro, which happens to be Hannibal, spelled backwards. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, I didn't even realize that till yeah. I left. You know, um, my photographer Brittany Lambright, who did a lot of stuff for me on both trips, since I'm not moving around so much these days, um, found that out on their haunted tour. Oh. And the Libina Bistro is just a great little European bistro, great food, looking for a good meal. And then you have the Mark Twain Dinette, which you know, great root beer floats and french fries and things oh, like yeah. that now you're speaking my language yeah. right. Floats yeah. and french fries mark twain himself it's a one-man production richard carey is the actor and he um every night he does something different from twain and he talks as twain and recites from his books so that's really quite interesting it stays see. like today i wish i'd pay more attention in school <laughs> I remember parts of the book, but not yeah. enough of them. Well, now you have to yeah. read them. I know. Uh, the Riverboat, of course, Mississippi River, where you're straddling Illinois and Missouri. Yeah. That's always important. And the quaint caves. They have some caves there, which are great, and there's a winery right next door. Oh. Oh. So nice. got to try the Cave Hollow West Winery. And, you know, in addition to the Wax Museum, Train Museum, Rockville Mansion, and a car museum, and then, as I mentioned, the Haunted Tour. And we're going to get to one in Chicago. From those pictures, Ooh. it looks Love beautiful. Love sleep. There. It yeah, is yeah. beautiful. It really is. And it's not, you know. Did it you is, leap, by the way? Uh, I did not. <laughs> okay, sure. I did not. Um, there were people trying to climb the fence, and I <laughs> don't <laughs> you suggest You were not one it. of them, I see. Do not yeah. suggest it. Do not suggest it. So we're going to head over to Chicago. Yeah, we're going to go on haunted tours. No, Chicago is close. Um, the Gangster Pub Tour. Hmm. Kind of cool. Sent Brittany along, and it starts at Harry Carey's Italian Steakhouse. Now you don't, you don't start a tour at Harry Carey's without eating there. Of course okay, you don't. No. Of course. I think I might be tempted to finish it there. <laughs> actually, but. Yes, and of course, it's, you know they have the best steaks. Anything you want. The Italian food is really authentic. They have a great dessert. I don't know if we have the video or not, but it's shaped as a baseball ball. Of course. Oh. You know, for Harry Carey, and it just opens up to a lava chocolate. Wow. And then the tour will take you through um, bars and basements where Al Capone and mm. his friends were Gathered. hiding and <laughs> gathering and where speakeasies used to be during Prohibition. It's not where the bodies are buried, though, right? It's, is there could elsewhere? be. <laughs> there are no Wouldn't guarantees. Surprise me, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> there are no guarantees. I there see. could be bodies there. I, who knows? Lots Maybe. Of concrete. You know, there is a lot of concrete in there, and Capone had a lot of friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Past tense. So, yes, the um, Nightly Spirits tours, they also have a uh, spirited tour getting towards Halloween, a little more ghosty. Um, but the Gangster tour is yeah. just fantastic. And that's I'll, like two hours away. Yes, right, so that's two hours to Chicago. And yeah.
to Harry Perry's and look at the food. Meatballs and spaghetti. It's like halfway between a staycation and a vacation. It's not exactly. very far. You can I mean, go there's always back plenty quickly. to, um, I had stayed previously at the Kinsey Hotel, which is actually right across the street from that. That's so handy. if you don't want to drive home after taking the tour till 2 o'clock in the morning, you can just hop right across the street. Late tour. Stay at the Kinsey Make a and, night of it. And then, ha and then have brunch at Harry Carey's again in the morning. <laughs> right. It sounds like you got to figure it out. Thank yeah. you, Marcia. Yes. I appreciate you being here. And we'll have all the details on Harry Carey's and Hannibal on our Facebook page and uh, our website, which is CILiving.tv.